Hey, you guys. What's up? So, talking to Johnny is, like, closer to the subway thing than this. And also, hello, side mission six, side mission six, or ten. So, I missed, it, missed out on that for a while. <laughs> uh... Okay, but we're gonna talk to Johnny first. We were just in this area, weren't we? Hey, dude. Hi. Did you bring anything to drink? If you bust into a man's home, you should at least bring a drink. Are you Johnny Gunn? That's right. What do you want? Have you heard about your wife? Which one? Excuse me? <laughs> I've been married a bunch of times. Which wife are we talking about? <laughs> uh... Angela's dead. I'm sorry to be the one to tell you. They found her body in an alley. Yeah, well, you're not the one to tell me, so... I appreciate your way of trying to break it to me, though. Do you know if she died quick or not? No, I don't. I hope so. Angie didn't deserve to suffer. So you did know already? Your detective friend called, told me to sit tight and wait for you, so here I am, sitting tight, being cooperative. You don't seem too broken up about Angela's death. She was your wife, wasn't she? Ex-wife. We were divorced. Is that supposed to explain why you don't care? <laughs> People die. Whether or not I care is between me and my memories of them. It's got nothing to do with you. Okay, okay. What went wrong with your marriage? If you got divorced, then obviously something did. What are you, five? Adults get sick of each other. The ones that don't are just pretending. Lock any two people in a room, and they'll learn to hate each other sooner or later. It's the most natural thing in the world. I'm actually surprised. Angie held out as long as she did. You know, people say I'm not very easy to like. You don't say. So Angela left you, and you resented her for it. Presented her? No. That's not who my resentment is directed toward right now. You resent me? Because I'm trying to figure out who killed her? Because you're treating me like a suspect. Because you're acting like you care more about her than I do. And mostly because you're the first human being to walk into my apartment and talk to me in almost a year. A year! And this is what we're talking about. I resent the situation. Okay. Look. Where were you tonight? I was out killing Angie. <laughs> doing whatever it is they did to her. That's what you think, isn't it? I'm not accusing you of anything. I just want to know what happened. Why? If anyone should want to track down the person who killed her, it should be me. But I choose not to. Case closed. You don't care if her killer is caught or not? No, I don't. I don't get off on vengeance. I say, let the bastard stir in his own damn guilt. Then um, they kill. I think they do it to get attention. They or want to be the caught. Parts. They want society to spank them just like their daddies did. Now, the real punishment for something like this is living with what you've done. That's not how it works. Why not? 
For one, finding this killer will ensure they can't do it again. Two, society has a right to protect itself. And three, where were you tonight? <laughs> In my apartment. Alone. No one but the cockroaches can confirm or deny shit. Convenient, right? You know what? I'm sure you won't mind if I look around. Whatever you say. Cause he really doesn't seem to uh give a shit. Take in your beer. You seem to drink enough. Pretty sure I've been here before. He's very uh Where are you going? What? Taking your money, you asshole. Hey, asshole! You can't go in there. What? I'm in your room. Want me to go in here? Oh, killing in the quiet was kindness of a kind. My hands are Sunday's best, my rig. Hey, you didn't disagree to this, so it's your own damn fault. He was so against me coming in here. Oops. I dropped your refrigerator. Sorry. I'll figure out a way to put it back. evidence. Why are you just constantly saying shit, man? I want to, like, find something. Hey, asshole! You can't go in there! What is he telling me I'm not allowed to go into? I wouldn't mind getting that, but I don't have enough. There's got to be some kind of compelling evidence, right? This lift them a fuck theater, we act as a stop it. I 
don't see anything like. Does he just not like me coming into the kitchen or somewhere else? Because, like, I'm legitimately not seeing anything, man. compelling evidence. I want to know what this compelling evidence is that I should be finding. I just flushed the toilet. Hey, I took pleasure in screwing you over. You. Over so much senseless time. I took pleasure killing in the quiet was kindness of a kind. My hands are Sunday's best, my brave new feet, my only mind. I only mind. That obviously does not count as compelling evidence, which sucks. I need compelling evidence, damn it. Legitimate hell, man. Must be tripping. Uh, Must be tripping, huh? There's a lot of beer out here. Why do you have beer on out here too? Seriously? Where are you going? Oh my gosh. I'm trying to find compelling evidence to either condemn you or to save you. Do I not- do I need to knock him out? Cause I will. Oops. Oops. I almost failed that. That's kinda sad. Hands itch. Sensation you're describing are not possible. It's no more possible for your knuckles to itch than for your palms to sweat or your fingers to leave prints. Biometrically speaking, these things cannot happen given the model you have installed. It strikes me that you continue avoiding the greater problem. I'm afraid there's no cream I can prescribe for that. Ideally, I would refer to you to my colleague. If you're interested in speaking to her, let me know. Oh, that's compelling evidence. That's that's compelling evidence. Well, it only took me so flip freaking long. Holy crap! Shit. Okay, now I jump out and go out. So I actually have to go back to the area and legitimately tell him he's in 
What is he? Is he guilty or isn't he? I mean, it doesn't really explain. I don't know what that means. Hold on. His hands? He can't leave fingerprints. Haha! -ha! He's innocent. I figured that out all on my own Z. I've got a brain. I've totally got a brain. Hell yeah. I'm impressed with myself. Johnny Gunn did not do it. I'm a detective. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Detective, detective. I got some info for you. Detective, detective, where the hell are hello. you? Hey, Something detective. Wrong? I solved your case. By the way, I told Daria to go home. I really don't think she saw anything. I think I'm finally ready to shed some light on Angela Gunn's murder. That's good news. My bosses are eager to know why I haven't arrested Johnny yet. The truth is, we're not even close. Not yet. Why do you say that? What about Johnny? The more I think about all this, the more I can't shake the feeling. Johnny Gunn killed his wife. Look, I didn't find who the killer is. Sometimes you have to admit there just isn't enough to go on. That the pieces don't fit. Not yet, anyway. But I do know Johnny Gunn didn't kill his wife. How can you be sure? Remember that partial print I found on the victim's throat? What about it? Johnny Gunn hasn't had fingerprints since the Australian Civil War. His hands are made of alloy. If he had strangled her, he wouldn't have left a smudge. Alloy, huh? She. So, where does that leave us exactly? We followed the evidence we had. This is where it led us. You mean nowhere? <laughs> I'm not sure exactly. I think a lot of the pieces are there. They're just not ready to be put together. Not yet. All right. That should be enough for me to get the rope off Johnny's neck. But it doesn't help me solve anything, does it? I mean, unless we learn more, there's no one I can drag in for this. Let's just hope learning more doesn't mean having to meet over another dead body. <laughs> hey, rookie! Get over here! Intel. It's time to wrap this they up. Are. Okay. I gotta go back. Uh, all right. So much back and forth thing. Are you there? Is that you, neighbor? Are you checking up on me? It's very sweet. Are there any leads? We spent most of our time eliminating suspects. I still don't know who killed Angela. Is that supposed to make me feel better? No, but it's the truth. Just try to be careful. Keep a low profile. If anything happens, if you ever think you're in danger, you know how to reach me. Thank you, but let's hope it doesn't come to that. Be much better if you could tell me what the hell you saw, but all right. Back to where I was. Uh, 
Excellent. Not really. So much traveling back and forth. But hey, we're doing side mission six now. Woohoo! <laughs> These loading screens, man. These loading screens. I wish they would change up the characters at least every once in a while. Do all these poor people live on the subway? I mean, I know some people do find shelter on the subway, but they're all the same goddamn people in all the same goddamn spots. It's freaky. Legitimately. So apparently, they've been calling me on the ads for a little while now. So I'm gonna finally get to that. Poor bastards. Oh, hey. Welcome to Future Last. How may I help you? Uh, I'm looking for something. Welcome to Future Last, where old is gold. I'm looking for something that can read an old memory disk. Wow. Last time I saw one of those, I was cleaning out Granny's apartment. Retro revival, am I right? You know, they stopped making them like 40 years ago. You don't say. <laughs> so if you don't mind my asking, where'd you get it? Granny's eager to read her disc. Any chance we could speed this along? Sure, no problem. <laughs> Very first thing they teach us at Future Last, always match the customer's tempo. If oh, the customer cool. wants to take his time, you take your time. If the customer's double parked, pretend you're double parked. So maybe we should start pretending. Yeah. Right, right, right. Listen, it's just like I told the other guy. Data readers are real collector's items right now. Super rare. And this is the only place that carries them. So I feel it's my obligation to warn you this could get pricey. But don't worry, I'm gonna make sure you don't walk out of future last unhappy. Someone else asked you about a data reader? Uh -huh. Weird, right? I guess these old things are popular again. So anyway, I'm gonna tell you exactly what I told him. All the obscure antique stuff is down in the basement. I think he's digging way in the back somewhere as we speak. I know there's a data reader there in one of the old boxes. <laughs> Hopefully too. All right, I guess I'll go take a look. Okay. So. I'm, uh. Gonna be cautious. Uh, it's not going to be somebody I'm going to have to worry about, right? Oh, sh shit. Can't believe you fell for the old fetch quest. Did you have to kill him? Who, Min Wage? You really think I'd kill a poor SOB slaving away in this shit mine? Come on, man, I'm a professional, not a monster. You, I have to kill him. He'll think it was a hangover. Who are you? Gas. I'm tired of playing games. No, I'm not. You're gonna die anyway. Come on, guess. Those mercs I saw inside the tourism office. You're one of them, aren't you? <laughs> Part of some hired hit squad sent by Picus. 
You should know that they're not really your friends, given the plans they had for you. They're just colleagues. Second grade army rejects, really. Yes, sir, no, sir, no imagination. Not like me. Mike has plans to kill you as soon as his job is done. Try imagining that. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh huh. I found a pocket secretary on your colleague's body. He had orders to kill a man named Walker. Apparently, Everett doesn't like his imagination. You're Walker, aren't you? Everett's your boss. Jeez. You're serious, aren't you? After all the times I. Corporate fucking rats, this is bullshit. Just because I like to ask questions, you know? Because I take initiative. Doesn't a man's word mean anything anymore? Apparently not. Depends on the man. Give me the reader I need. No more games. What? All right. Yeah, okay. Here, all yours. See? I'm courteous to you. You're courteous to me. I don't know those backstabbing assholes anything anymore. You have my word that I'm out of this now. I'll disappear. So what cool. do you say? Let's walk away like gentlemen. Sure. I got what I came for. Right. The disc you have, it's got something to do with what happened at Panchea. Part of some program that got all confused. Me knowing just that much is probably why they want to kill me. Doesn't take much, apparently. What do you mean, confused? It calls itself Hele now. Got all mixed up out there, broke itself into bits and pieces. My boss has been hiring the best to recover whatever traces he can before it, or she, or whatever, puts itself back together. You want to know more? You should ask her yourself. I think I just might. Okay. Coolio, um... Well done, Adam. Inserting the disk into the requisite drive will allow us to integrate the missing data. We'll work out Which will accomplish what exactly? We are not sure yet. She believes it will recover the real her. I recommend accessing the data in a secure location. Your safe house. They will not disturb us there. Um... The only thing that's coming to mind right now is, uh... Well, you see... There was this, uh, this thing in the last game where uh, this good lord, this is making me itchy. <laughs> Or I start problems all over the place, it makes me itchy. But, um, in the last game, there, when I was reading all the things, there was, uh, But, uh, yeah, there was this, uh, every time I would read this email in Panchea, the program, at the end of the, at the very end of the, uh, damn, oh my gosh, I'm trying to say something and it's just going out of my mind right now. But, uh, basically, at the end of a lot of emails in Panchea, it would be like, it's coming, or, like, I see paradise, I, I don't know what they were, it was just weird endings to the thing, and it was just really weird. But it, it just made me giggle each time. So, does that mean... Well, is that what this was? The... Panchea program? Where at the bottom was all those women hooked up? Were they part of the program that was 
making the emails a little weird. Because <laughs> that's, that's what it seems like, honestly. Um, I guess I can meet Miller at the helipad, or I can go ahead and go back to my apartment. Wherever my safe house is. But I'll save that for next time! Yes, I will! So yeah, see you guys next time! So yeah, bye!